It says live. Hey, yo, number one Marmaduke fan here. How you guys doing? Can you hear me this time? So I'm really hoping this time I got the sound right. The last time I tried this and I debuted this mask, it was silent. I'm such a boomer. It was 30 minutes of dead silence and me just playing Smash Brothers and thinking I was talking to you guys. So people suggest I dub over that and, and re-release it. And I think I'm going to do that, but it's going to take a little work. So, but for tonight, this is a new episode. I'm just going to keep playing through Smash Brothers Ultimate. So, let me get my boomer set up here going. All right, I'm not going to wear this the whole time so that you guys can uh, hear me. That's right, I got to take off the sunglasses. I was so excited to get those sunglasses, you know? But they kind of, wearing those sunglasses, it kind of makes it hard to talk. So, I've taken those off so I can talk to you guys a little bit more easily. So, without further ado, I'm going to open up the chat. Here we go. Oh, it's playing an ad. Cool. I didn't know they did that on live streams. All right, let me get in the chat. Hi, everyone. Who else here today? We've got Mr. E, the metal, Zach Bob, Toxic Terran, Aesthetic, Rex Warden, Give Me Your Soul, Captain Cummings, the metal, Rousey V, Jason D, Anthony 529, Effie, a potato. Wow, there's a lot of you here today. Okie dokie. So I'm guessing that means you can hear me, right? Tell me if I'm quiet. Hold on. That wouldn't work. If I was muted, uh, let me see. If I was muted, you wouldn't be able to hear me asking you if I am muted, right? Tell me if I am muted. Magnets and technology, how do they work? I just want to go back to the 70s when I had a clear button. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, this is version 1.2. Oh, and they're like different spirits each week. Okay. All right. Wait, 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 wait. You are, okay, someone said mute. Okay, and that freaked me out. But then, of course, for you to hear me say that, I can't be muted. I'm not muted. No, I'm not muted. Don't scare me, guys. All right. We're going back into the adventure mode. And I got to be honest, I have not enjoyed the adventure mode so far. It kind of feels like just a bunch of gimmicky fights. But I have been told there are some really cool bosses in the adventure mode. So here's what I've decided we're going to do. If I fail anything twice in a row, I'm just going to go to some other part in the map. Because I think it'd be boring to watch me fail a stupid challenge over and over again. Some of them are just ridiculously unfair. And it's going to take it's just going to take me like sitting down and trying 20 times to figure out a way to cheese the computer. However, uh, I'm going to just try to get through this as fast as I can and get to these sick bosses that everybody says is super duper cool. Oh, uh, yeah, and Captain Cummings, uh, Cummings Jr. is looking forward to getting this for Christmas. So uh, since I unlisted the last one that was just me silently staring at the screen for 30 minutes, thinking I was talking to you, I played a little bit by accident because of that. And like this one, I'm not going to try it again. It's ridiculous. Like the wind is blowing you into the water. If you touch the water for a second, you drown. But Iggy is okay because he's supposed to be like a kappa from Japanese folklore. So most of these fights are goofy little things like that where there's something unfair about it. And I'm just going to try to get to the boss and see how far I can go and uh, save the world. Uh, also, if you want to unlock the characters fast, like I just played with my friend a little bit, and after like 10 matches, we'd suddenly unlocked probably like six characters. So definitely the best way to unlock characters is to just play this regular Smash mode with your friends. So I was Kirby last time, and I'm just going to stick to one fighter today. Okay, so last in the unlisted episode, I think I unlocked Captain Falcon. I gotta get that unlisted episode dubbed. But early on in the days of my channel, we're gonna have the, a fab pink outfit for today. Early on in the days of my channel, I read this really weird, really goofy Christian science fiction comic that just cracked me up based, based on just how silly it was. And so I would unlist those videos and I'd just share them on Twitter. And finally I decided to make like a compilation of all, all of them together. Like I couldn't get through that comic without cracking up. And I don't like having unlisted vids. I'd like to, I'd like to do something with them, even if there was something ridiculous. Oh, tomorrow gang, tomorrow I'll be premiering uh, my very first episode of my Let's Play of Paper Mario. It's gonna have a fun twist -aroo. Oh, they're supposed to be Goombas, okay. So what we'll probably do is I will like fighty fighty so I don't embarrass myself by dying a bunch of times. And then in between fights, I will check out you guys' comments. So at me, if you have anything you want me to read. What else? So 
Paper Mario premieres tomorrow. I'm going to try reading some Christmas stories. I've got, uh, I found a really nice website that collects comic books that are out of copyright, meaning like the company that made them went out of business and they never renewed, renewed the copyright. So I'm going to try reading some of those that are kind of like, you know, like neat for the time of the year. I, uh, if you guys know who Walt Kelly is, he's one of my favorite artists of all time. And he's got a nice collection of Christmas comic books that are out of copyright. I've just been so excited. He, he's literally one of the best cartoonists who's ever lived. So to me, it was just so cool that there are all these comics by him I'd never heard of uh, that you can just read for free. I love comic books. Anyway, yeah, more comic book stuff is going to be coming to this channel in addition to video games. I got I to gotta get to my comic book geek roots again. Let's say, have a look. See Christmas stories. Yes, Ralph ZV. It, it, it's that time of the year. It's that time of the year. Like, I mean, back in the 40s and 50s, they would make comic books about everything because they were literally just trying to crank them out as fast as possible on cheap paper. So there would be like, you know, like 50 goofy animal stories. Oh, giant Charizard as Valu from uh, Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. That's dope. Okay, I'm going to stick his uh, lovely <laughs> feminine cap, Captain Feminine Falcon today, and we're going to take on Charizard. Uh, I've been told that uh, I, I can't believe how amazingly fast people are playing Smash. People have already like unlocked all the characters. They're already competing. They're already making videos like on all the little secrets in the game. So this is a bit more of a casual playthrough where I'm just trying to get through it at a you know fun pace rather than crank out 100 videos on Smash Brothers. Uh, oh dear! Oh dear! Oh no! Why? Yeah, can, can you tell I'm a freaking casual? But I, I would like to get good at this game, especially after I unlock all the characters and get a feel for who I like the best. I don't know. May, if I'm going to try to compete seriously in Smash Brothers, I'll get the nice setup that'll let me stream it, and I'll start start trying to take down all the elite players, I guess. So what was I thinking? Oh, yeah. So one of the things I noticed is Classic Mode apparently has a nice little... Oh, he's above the volcano, just like Polu. That's so cool. But uh, Classic Mode has a little... Uh, different mode for a lot of the characters and special bosses for them. So if I get bored of adventure, I might start playing classic mode. I didn't know that they added a lot of new content to that. Whoops, that didn't work. There we go. So let's see, Paper Mario, Earthbound, and Smash Brothers. I think that's going to keep me busy for a while. I think it'd be fun to go back and do the Subspace Emissary again. I, I think one of the Marmaduke siblings has my Wii, so I might have to buy like a cheap used Wii or something to play Subspace Emissary again. But that had like all this neat, it was like a whole platforming game in a Smash Brothers game, which was kind of what I was hoping World of Light would be, it's okay for what it is. It's kind of like a feature of all the different spirits you can get and, you know, some fun, goofy fights. The medal, 1v1 me anytime, number one Marmaduke fan. Okay, yeah, so after I unlock all the characters, the, the next thing I want to do after I unlock the characters is I want to try out, like, a week trial on, uh, like, the Smash, uh, the online Nintendo thing that I don't want to pay for, but I guess I'll have to pay for it eventually. And I'd love to challenge you guys to some Smash Brothers, right? Like we could do like a live stream. I'll send out my friend code somewhere. Like it, I think I'll have to get a Discord server. Am I pointing at the screen nice? Yeah, I'm pointing at the screen nice. Is Deku on? Yeah, Deku's on. You can see Deku. All right, hopefully I didn't mess it up. Anyway, but yeah, I, I'll, I'll, give me some time to plan the logistics of how to do that. And we will do some like live on YouTube uh, Smash Battles. I think I messed up the screen. I'm such a boomer. I am so happy that some people had never heard of Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door, and I'm going to get to introduce them to it because it's such a special game to me. And wait a second. Oh, when there's an earthquake, you slip. Okay. So, okay, he's supposed to be a fly gun. Oh, Sakurai, you just love putting in trips wherever you can, huh? It's the goofiest fight. Oh, good grief. Look at this. I just start falling on my ass.
it kind of pays for you to be a little bit more cautious in these CPU fights because they'll rack up damage if you're just like goofing off or unfocused. Oh, good grief. I'm going to have to get an amiibo and train against that. Oh, did he just kill himself? No, he didn't, of course. This is ridiculous, Sakurai. Look at this. Oh. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah, I there's way too much like, hey, let's put a dumb gimmick in this fight for from Sakurai for World of Light. So I don't know. This I don't know if this will be well, it's Smash Brothers, so this probably isn't the last Smash game. But it's the last one we're getting for a while. I really hope we get like a subspace emissary uh, successor in the in the next incarnation of Smash. Unless he unless he won't make one again because people leaked it two weeks early. Fei Long from Street Fighter. All right, kind of the faux Bruce Lee. The enemy's punches and elbow strikes have increased power. The enemy's kicks and knee strikes have increased power. Stamina battle. Okay, so it's sort of like a Muay Thai fight. I got it. You are. Oh, you're at a spirit type disadvantage. Hey, that's a nice little reminder. Spirits. Why can't I put on more spirits? The worst condition in World of Light is high wind. This is Dayton Gaido. Yes, I hate it. By the way, does anyone know if like the spirits you can unlock, do those like go away and never come back or do they cycle? Because if they go away and never come back, I might focus more on trying to get some of them if there are rare ones. Oh, it's the HP fight. Okay, good to know. Man, uh, Lucario is... Not good for an HP stamina battle, since his whole point is that he gets stronger the more you wail on him. Although his aura is, it looks like it's increasing, so maybe it works in stamina. I got so much to learn about. It's great with so many new fighters. There's so many new and weird styles. Stay along, huh? Uh, to, 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 I am thinking about doing giveaways on this channel and I'm going to need time to plan the logistics of it, but pretty much I had a subscription to Humble Bundle for the past year and just at the rate I'm going, I do not think I can play like more than two or three games at a time. I just don't think that's practical, which means rather than have like a hundred games that are just sitting on my Humble Bundle account that uh, are never going to get played, I think I'd, I'd rather like find a way to... I don't know, use those to grow the channel, but also kind of like just give something nice to you guys who've been following my content. I'll probably do, I've seen other people do giveaways, so I'll just have to decide which games to give away and how often to do it. So no no formal announcement yet. Think of this as the pre-announcement announcement. What is he supposed to be? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I got to read the instructions more carefully. Man, Giant Squirrel is scary because Squirrel is like a ridiculously fast, fast character. So him as a giant is it's just like intimidating. It's all his speed, but in a tough package. Squirtle. Oh, da, da, da. So I loaned my Switch Pro controller to a friend today. So I've got a downgrade to the Joy-Cons. <laughs> Uh, I think I am going to get that nice little GameCube converter because I, I, I've gotten more used to the Switch Pro controller. It's a very comfortable controller. If you haven't, if you didn't, if you weren't raised on the GameCube controller, you could probably make that your controller no problem. I'm still just kind of like, I've got the GameCube controller in my head the entire time I'm playing. So I think I need to get that, uh, the option to use my old GameCube controllers again. Uh-oh. Okay. Ha ha! Boom boom, all right. Ha 
Huh. I'm also up for suggestions because uh, I know Paper Mario so well. It is a long, nice long RPG, but I know it so well I'm going to get through it pretty quickly, I think. So I'm always up for suggestions on games to add into the mix. It doesn't have to have a story, but it kind of helps if there's some fun characters for me to read and get into character with. But yeah, uh, always just let me know in live chat and at me or let me know in a comment on one of my Let's Plays and I will definitely put that on my list of games to check out for future. Whoa. Oh, are they bombs? Where are they supposed to be? Shoot. Whoa, they got great recovery. They've got great teamwork too. I'm just being a goof. After the uh, premiere for uh, Paper Mario, I'm going to have to make a decision about whether I like to do premieres or live streams better. Uh, I mean, for like Smash Brothers, there's not there are not many uh, characters to act, voice act or anything. But uh, Paper Mario, I probably could get into character pretty easily. Oh, hello. Nice. What a way to end it. Yeah, so let me know pretty much. Just keep, keep giving me comments about whether you like premieres or whether you like live streams, and I'll always take those into consideration. Now, if they just release like a Mario Builder for Nintendo Switch, I could start getting into that. I, it's amazing to me how they're like little subcultures of YouTube. Like there's a whole Mario Maker subculture. What do we got here? The floor is lava. The enemy has increased move speed. Just Belmont. Okay, and Richter's playing him. Ha, the floor is lava. Oh, it's not lava for him. It's just lava for me. <laughs> Good grief. Hard is definitely a nice, decent challenge. Uh, I don't know if I'm actually going to... I ought to look up online to see if I actually get anything for playing hard. Some people suggested I not, and I kind of wanted the challenge and the practice of fighting hard CPUs. But uh, if there's no like special thing you get for playing hard, I might go to normal mode. Because if it's just like a cheesy, oh, you blow up every three seconds, I'm not going to learn that much about fighting human players just by playing it on hard mode. Being at a consecutive midair attack. Gosh, so much to practice. Ooh. Interesting. I can't go there yet. Leaf from Fire Emblem. Okay, Roy's playing him. The enemy can unleash powerful critical hits at random. The enemy heals over time. Wunderbar. So we just got to keep a steady assault. Where did the Rousey gun meme come from, Rousey V? I just keep seeing that all over the place. Oops.
Edge guard. And we did it. I love all the art and just all the history they celebrate in Smash Brothers games in general. And this one in particular, it's like every game you've never heard of from the entire history of Nintendo gets represented somewhere. Shadow Man from Mega Man. The enemy's neutral special has increased power. Okay, more shurikens. Stamina battle. The enemy favors neutral spe special. So he's going to throw a whole bunch of shuriken at me. Oh, and there's multiple. Wunderbar. Whoa. I remember back in college, everyone used to say, Norfair, every time Norfair came up. Huh, okay, you can warp pipe around. Let's look up here. A ho -oh, who's that? Oh, Curry Charizard. All right, fire and explosion attacks aren't as effective against the enemy. Great, and I've got a bunch of fire attacks. The enemy breathes fire. Oh, well. Oh, he just has curry breath? What? Whoa, wait a second. Captain Falcon's a physical fighter. I don't have good projectiles. Uh, oh, dang it, Sakurai! I'm coming back to this one. Nope. Doody doody dum. Off we go. Can I go down? Nice. Let's go this way. Twin bellows. It's everyone's fire themed. Okay. Giant duck hunt. The enemy breathes fire. The enemy is giant. All right. Let's go. Might as well get a spirit type advantage. Oh, you guys can RP if you want. I'll just check over from time to time to see if anybody's at me. What the heck? How am I supposed to approach a giant monster breathing fire? Oh, this game's ridiculous. Okay. All right, it gives me a warning, so there's that at least. He's supposed to be like a giant fire-breathing hellhound. Well, I think I found a way to break the computer's brain. Ha ah. ha So there are going to be additional downloadable characters. Good, I think I might have just done it beyond what's already been announced. So I might do, I might try to keep on the ball for when those are coming out. So I can, if I can get all the characters unlocked and get really practiced by then, then I could try, try to cover them as soon as they come come on. I, I really want to get good at Smash. Like I've never been, I've never competed in a tournament or anything, but uh, I feel like I could get good if I practiced it a lot. And it's like, it's like anything else in life. Practice it and you'll get good. Nice, an alternate path. Oh. How does that work? So you have to be both to get over there, don't you? Okay. Okay, you just keep turning on more. That's good.
Music, Melty Monster, Super Mario Galaxy 2. I haven't played Galaxy 2 yet. I've got to get some more artists on. So what I've been told is that uh, YouTube doesn't necessarily like it if you try to do live streams and short videos. I'm going to look more into that algorithm stuff and so I can learn how to you know, not screw myself up with the algorithm. But for now, I'm going to keep doing live streams for Smash Brothers and comic book artists on this channel. And eventually, I'm, maybe if, like when I get to maybe like 15,000 subs, I'm going to create a uh, a live stream only channel that will just be for nice long live streams. I'll do all my casual video game live streams on it. And I'll do uh, comic book artist and writer interviews on it. But the number one Marmaduke fan, this channel from now, that's the place for everything. Comic book related, game related. All fighters are easy to launch after a little while. Reinforcements will appear after an enemy is KO'd. The enemy starts the battle with a star rod. Kamek. Okay. Oh, we got 19 in the chat. Pretty good. All right, chat. Are there, uh, let me think, are there games that uh, are downloadable, like that I could have digital codes for, that you would be interested in seeing me have as prizes for future videos and contests and raffles? Whoa. Okay, wait a second. How many of these guys do I have to beat? It'd be nice if they let you set up custom fights for like little games and things. Like I remember the old one used to be Ganondorf on Sudden Death. And you'd go to Final Destination and have nothing but red shells and try to dodge them. It was like jump rope. Because I get a feeling that Sakurai is trying out like fun little mini games you can do in Smash Brothers if you set them up, but you'd have to have like a lot of controls over the custom rules to do that. The floor is lava, the enemy is giant. Groudon. Cool beans, Bowser. Whoa, uh-oh. <sighs> Good grief. I can beat this guy, I think. Once activated, this eye repeatedly fires shots, speeding up if it sees a foe. Attack it to make it change direction, though it might fall over instead. Whoa, that was different. Whoa, oh, he got me. I thought I got him with a meter smash. Roy's Flame Sword is up smash attack. Oh, Fire Emblem. I love Fire Emblem games so much. That's got to be a future Let's Play for this channel. Like, it was so weird. Like, I thought, oh, man, I can't do Let's Plays. Like, who would listen to me do a Let's Play? And then I got, like, people resonating to my Deltarune one. And then I realized, oh, wow, there are all these great video games I could go back and revisit.
Spam the same attack. Not a good idea. I gotta play a little smarter. Good grief. All right, last try. Then we'll try to find another route. Continuous Falcon dives. A leaping grab that sends your opponent flying with explosive force connects. You're free to use the same attack again without landing. That's right. Oh, but then it, you lose your jump. That was so stupid. That doesn't count. The real one starts now. Beating Super Mario Brothers without Mario touching the ground. It doesn't count! It doesn't count! Okay, no, it starts. Whoops. Okay, you can break through that. Oh, boy. I'm not doing so good, gang. All right, we're going somewhere else. I can go down this. All right, if I can't do this, I might be stuck. Uh, ooh, ice yeah. From what? ASH Archaic Sealed Heat. Okay, Lucina's playing her. The bombs will rain down from the sky after a little while. Hostile assist trophies will appear. Whoa, Shovel Knight. Whoa. Oh, good grief. Okay, I've got a better feel. At least she gets hurt by it. Oh, he digs holes and then I fall in them. That's a terrible combo. Man, it just feels like these assist trophies, they just have all of these attacks, right? Like, maybe they could have been in Smash Brothers, but... Oh, I lucked out! I'm going to wait for some hacker to figure out a way to make all those assist trophies actual characters. It'll happen. They were able to download Smash two years, two two weeks before it came out. They'll figure out how to do that. Uh, that might not help me unless I have another path. Ooh, ooh, a fighter! Let's go get that fighter. So this is where I got stuck, right? Groudon, yeah. And I got stuck at Hello. Dang it. Peach. Oh, good. We're going to get Peach. Okay, what's he do? I guess he's just a regular spirit. doesn't have a special ability. They've sped up Peach a bit since the Melee days. She's probably a lot, a lot more competitive now. Dang, girl.
I don't think I've unlocked real peach yet, so this might be my chance. Did you lose? No problem. Losing in classic mode isn't the end of the world. You can jump back in the action by spending gold or a classic ticket. Nice. It's sort of like old arcade mode. They're too smart to walk into smash attacks like they did in the old days. Nice! She's got great recovery, though. Hey, we got Peach. Oh, we rescued Peach from Bowser's castle. <laughs> I see what you did there. I see what you did there, Sakurai. Mushroom Kingdom U, special transfer committee. So much stuff. Okay. Wait, did that... Anything else back here? Okay. Hmm... I might have to take another stab at those two I was stuck on. Anything over here? Nope. No other paths? All right, got to go this way. At least Captain Falcon kind of moves at a nice, brisk pace. I'm not going to do ho -Oh right now. I'm going to try Groudon again because it felt like there, there are lots of openings if I just ex uh, exploit them. Lava Floor Resist? Okay, that's great. One of the things I like about premieres is I can read you guys' comments the whole time and be a bit more engaged, as opposed to if I'm playing and going back and forth. But in live streams, I can read them out loud while, you know, like on the air. So there's like a pro-con to it. I think. Whoa. Oh, no. I'm close. In the Lost Levels, Mario fights a blue fake Bowser before the real thing. The blue fake is his eighth color in this game. I don't remember that. Was that in the Game Boy Color release of it? That's why they have blue Bowser, okay. Oh, that's going to be hard for him to walk through. Did we get him? Yes! Groudon can be enhanced at level 99. Sweet. It's like a mega evolution, I bet. It's nice of them to tell you who can be enhanced at level 99, because then you can focus on growing those. A fighter will appear when you use your amiibo? Oh, yeah, yeah. Snack increases spirits level by a lot. Okay, good to know. Lion from Fire Emblem series. Reinforcements will appear after an enemy is KO'd. The enemy is giant. Great. Wait, I want to try leveling up Groudon. I don't want to get him to 99. Oh, Dan, uh... I don't know how to read that. Gyo says you can. The AI is smart, but not that smart. Yeah, there are ways to cheese it. Why am I glowing? Is it my spirit? Wait, he's not giant. Oh, there's going to be reinforcements showing up, though.
Okay, wait a second. These guys have reinforcements, which means if I beat one, I've got to have enough. Okay, I can't take enough damage that I'm screwed, but for the next one. Oh, that's right. He loses his sword if he uses it too much. Dang it. You can forget and learn adventure skills countless times. You'll need to use SP to reset them, though. Okay. If you want to make it hard again. Hectotate Bomb. I keep didn't read it. Blow me up. It ain't friendly fire. Oh, I deserve that. Hold on. I want to see this description one more time so I know what I'm getting into. Press the Y button to auto pick. Reinforcements will appear. Okay, great. Oh, I broke his shield. All right, where's the reinforcement? Holy cow! So he summoned like a giant dragon. Okay, great. So many Fire Emblem references I'm not getting. Which Fire Emblem games have I played? I played Path of Radiance. I started Radiant Dawn. I guess having this channel give me the motivation to finish it. Uh, yo! The banana did its job. Jeez. Uh, and I played a what's it one, like the Blazing Blade, the one that came out on Game Boy with Lit Lin in it. Richter's Origins. You did you can Castlevania, something, something. Can't read it. Dude, 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 dude. Monster? Win the battle to awaken the fighter. It's Giga Bowser. What is it? He. All silent and creepy. All right, here we go. Be fabulous, Captain. Ooh, a cutscene. No, he's just transforming. Okay, this is a boss. It's nice that they actually put him in. Man. Great. This is a good old challenge. 
what was the condition to get him in melee? You had to like beat classic mode or adventure mode or something. Oh man. All right, this is gonna be fun. After throwing this item, it'll fly a short distance into the position itself in the air on, or on the ground. If you place on the edge of a stage, it does a great job of getting in the way of a fighter's recovery. Nice. Oh, that hurts. There's probably not an easy way to cheese him, huh? Oh, I can't up. I can't up be him. That's right, because he's so massive. He's impervious to some stuff. There's some spirits you can only get by summoning. Use reverse lookup to see which spirit can be summoned. Man, this is a lot like the fight in melee at the end, where he freezes you, all that stuff. It's hard to interrupt in two. Oh, man. At least he's got a giant hitbox. But it's not doing me much good. Okay, I'm getting those meteor smashes, but they barely dent him. I need to wail on him. Pretty much when he has a smash, I may have to change my party for this one. Okay. Who's good for Giga Bowser? I might have to dance around him a little bit. I'm going to try dancing around him and then getting in little shots and then dancing back out. It doesn't tell me which one to pick. All right. I'll just keep my speed up. I'll probably just spam ret ret uh, retreating up air attacks to keep my percentage low. Yeah. I'm just going to dance around him and try to just keep uh, wailing on his life by little and then duck out before he can do one of those big old smashes. See, and then he does a lot like that. So maybe I can cheese him. Woohoo. Woohoo. That hitbox. Not, not even that is a good guarantee, the brick mode. I just have to, it's a game of endurance. That's all it is. I have to be patient and not stupid. Like that. That's the thing I must not do. Oop. Okay, that reaches across like half the stage, so... He telegraphs his moves. Nice. Oh, shoot. If it's like my last chance, I guess I could uh, block as a last resort. Okay, I think Kirby's a good strategy for this. can't rely on sending him flying because he's so dang heavy. So I'll, I'll just have to wait and rely on chipping. Thriller! Thriller! Woo! Hey, do another up smash. You know you like those. That's what I got to watch out for. Oh. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. My only hope is to use his telegraphing. Oh, no. Okay, I'm almost halfway there. J-Bomb, you are very scared. Please play keep away. 
Got to appreciate Bowser's model. Pretty cool looking. Oh, that was such a freaky thing to get after beating. I don't know if it was classic mode or adventure mode. Man, he's scary. All right, Eye of the Tiger. I'm playing stupid. Hey, come do one of those over here. Cheese yourself. Why not? I don't think I can rely on him being so stupid as to do that. Stage based on Super Happy Tree, stolen by Baby Bowser and Yoshi's story. Without the tree, the Yoshis are powerless. Whoa! He has a quick recovery from that. Ooh, I hate that. Oh, no! Oh, It's a powerful attack, the hammer, but it leaves me open for a while. Can't do that. If I try to do fancy combos, I stay uh, frozen too long, and that gives him his chance to do one of his crazy smashes. Oh, that's right, Omega Form. It's like a Final Destination. That's such a clever idea because so many people like Final Destination, but it gets boring if you play there all the time. So it gives you kind of like a nice, fair thing with a Mario theme or a Kirby theme. Just, just thought of a nice, a lot of little details. Can't talk. This isn't review time. Oh, no. Good grief. Yeah, I'm going to get a fully charged Smash attack. All right, that's it. In and out. Fly like a butterfly, sting like a bee. I want this. I want this so bad. This is going to be the finale. I want this. Ha ha ha. Focus. Like a doofus. In. Out. She's up.
know what I have to do to beat him. It's just a matter of focusing. Pick Peach, hit B every time. He telegraphs and attack it as a grab. Kill him with count. Oh, okay, the metal. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that. That would, like, rack up damage. Okay, well, let's give it a serious effort, though. All right, we're going to try uh, the metal's idea. Try using an aerial-based character with some mid- to long-range distance attacks. Make sure you keep some distance. Yeah, uh, let's see if I have anyone with a good projectile attack. I might try that peach idea. Now Marmaduke is OP. Jigglypuff rest. Uh, that's a good option, too, since they fixed Jigglypuff's hitbox and made that a little better. Let's see, I've got peach and Jigglypuff. Lucario's... Uh, and Sheik are the best I have for projectiles. I'm going to try that peach idea. How how fitting that peach is a good match for Bowser. Well, it doesn't help on his fire. That's the problem. Come on, pal. Let's see, it does reflect on him, but I still have a delay. So we got to still dance in and out. Let's get just used to it. She has great recovery, too. That's good. So it does hurt him, but I get hurt. It goes right through Toad. I like the strategy. I'm going to keep trying it. Let's just warm up a bit. There we go. So I just have to not be too quick on the gun. I got to wait for him. He really wants to grab. That doesn't help. All right. Yep, we got to watch for the grabs because that goes right through Toad. All right, I'm going to give this, I'm going to give this a couple serious tries and then I'll try a projectile strategy after that. The type, oh, you're, the metal is a peach and daisy main. All right. I've never been a peach daisy main. You, you, you probably nailed this. Just float above it. Oop. Well, that's beautiful. 
I gotta use. I gotta get more damage in. I can't just wait for every perfect little attack. I have to have a lot of strategies to keep wailing on him, in all the times he leaves himself open. All right, I'm liking this more. I shouldn't just limit myself to one attack ever. If I want to keep wailing down, I'll, I'll be here hours. Let's go. Just play natural. Wow. Okay. If I watch out for stupid stuff. Bowser cannot resist Peach's booty. <laughs> it's his only weakness is the rear end. Good grief. I can just float in and out of his hitbox. No, except for that. I like this. Oh, no. All right. I feel like I've got a way to win this, though. How did I do this when I was a kid? I must have had way too much time on my hand when I was a kid. Because I remember, like, getting scared fighting him, but I think I beat him with every character. I don't know. I was a different kind of gamer back in high school. Probably too much of a gamer back in high school. All right, focus. That was when I should have used Toad. Nice. Man, she is so fly. I love it. All right. Oh, oh, I should have. I, I, I counted myself out too fast. All right. I'm going to optimize my uh, spirits because if I have a healer, as long as I'm dancing and if I could like dance away from him and let myself heal. Okay. Who has special abilities? Battering items, power, foot attack can be enhanced. Speed down, magic attack up, magic attack up, speed up can be enhanced. Fire weakness down. That'd be good for his fire attacks. Weight down. Electric attack, speed up, speed up. Jump down, side attack speed, throw power, weight, can be enhanced, sword attack, jump, speed. Oh, I can't, I don't have those like super duper special ones that you unlock. All right. Uh, the best one, I think, sounds like fire weak, weakness. All right, now let's take a looky here. Uh, Lucario, start with a steel diver. Eh. 
damage enemies when rushing into them. Impact run. Eh, maybe. Increases defense for a while when badly damaged. Increases attack power, power for a while when badly damaged. Okay, that'd be good for me. I'll think about that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Nope. Nope. Uh, I don't need an item, really. Rocket belt. Grants immunity to slumber floors. Nah. Don't need projectiles. Grants immunity to tripping from earthquakes. Banana peels, etc. Not a problem. Uh, spicy curry breath. Yeah, but... It's only the one time, right? It's like the equivalent of start battles. Yeah, I, I don't need that. Increases attack power while I have zero damage, which is good if I can actually be careful, but uh, draw nearby items. Decreases damage taken from melee weapons. Starts battle with a lipstick. I can poison him. Poisoning him might be good. I don't know. Uh, starts with a urina. Uh, how do you say that? Unria, unira. Start battle with a staff. Fire at far away opponents. Stamina battle. Rocket belt, strong winds, left and right move speed. So it increases the power of punches and elbow strikes, reduces damage. Uh, oh, is Peach's butt an explosion attack? Oh boy. Okay, wait, 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 wait a second. If Peach's butt is an explosion attack, that might just be it, gang. All right. How am I going to Google this? Peach's butt <laughs> explosion attack? Question mark? We're real high tech here, gang. Uh, GameSpot is angry. People are just angry about her having a butt attack. I think it is an explosion attack. We're just going to try wheezing. Uh, neutral special. Jump height. I think I've got great jump height. So either rut uh, when badly damaged. I think that'll work. But is it only a one-time shot? It is, it's not permanent. It's just a temporary thing. Okay. Whereas that hurts him every time I dash into him. I think I will start with a flower. Yeah, with lipstick. Okay. That'd be a good one because maybe I can wail away on him a bit. What's the time? A couple more serious attempts, and then I might just make like beating Giga Bowser a new stream. But focus on fighting. Don't focus on that. Yeah. Oh, no. Ah, my recovery game. Dang it. I just cheesed myself on that one. Okay, I think this is a good loadout, though. Super Missile would be nice if I had Samus. He's breakable, guys. It's just, it's just paying attention to his telegraphing and not getting intimidated. Easier said than done. Ooh.
I wish I had a way to gradually recover life from one of my spirits because then I could just keep away from them, you know? But that sounds like a too good of an ability to have. Maybe if I find it later. For now, let's just focus. Let's focus. All right, I'm going to check the chat so I don't worry about the chat. He doesn't really put a flower on his head and poison him. Like a sucker. The, the uh, lipstick doesn't seem to be like putting a flower on his head and poisoning him. So maybe a projectile weapon would be better for just cheesing him at the start for a little extra damage. Every weapon's a projectile weapon if you have whale power. Slammed right in the screen. All right, I'm going to call it 1030, gang. If I can't do it by then, I'll be getting, I'll just be too distracted thinking about other things. So focus time until then. Best I've done. Golly G Willikers. Defeating that with nothing but Peach's ass. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Dang it. <sighs> Woo, I want it. I want it. Punk.
I don't want the lipstick. I want something better. Fire weakness, fire explosion attack. How about just something that gives me a little... Oh, what the heck? He's so big, he'll step on it. Dang it. Whoa, stupid dodge. My bad. Not get distracted. Stay out of his range. Okay. His up smash is where he can get me. Because I go flying into it.
Peach is the star of Super Princess Peach, released in North America in 2006. Mara and the others get kidnapped by Bowser and accept to Peach to save them with her friend, the friend, help of her friend, Perry. That's what I gotta say, Toad for is those puppies. Should be button toad. That's where I should be using toad is when I get in those fall into those smash attacks. What am I doing? I have a projectile. Oh, I'm such an idiot. So I can't worry about the item. I got to worry about him. Punk. I am a punk. What's the time? Let's do this. All right, last attempt. Last attempt, it's all on this. If I don't get this, then you guys can call me a noob and I will pick it up tomorrow. Well, do I have time tomorrow? The premiere's tomorrow, so I'm gonna watch that with everybody. I'll probably do some like surprise live streams where I'm just have some downtime.
Woohoo, that was close. Dang it. Don't want to lose. Dang it. Ah. It's only 1027. I said I quit at 1030. I can do another. I can do it. I wish that pressing A helped it move faster, but Pokemon lied to me. Or rather, we all the kids in the 90s lied about Pokemon. Here we go. All right, that's it for real. Sorry, gang. I think that is the best strategy, though, that I've come up with. So the uh, chat came up with. Uh, the metal helped me out. Oh, boy, so much chat. Okay, let's see if anybody added me. Didn't see anybody adding me. Uh, it's getting a little late. So I'm an old man. I'm going to call it here. Hey, guys, I love you. Thanks for the suggestions. I, I don't think I honestly would have thought of that strategy right away. But that's definitely going to be my strategy when I try to take on Giga Bowser. I'll probably just do like a... Like, I, I won't announce it. Just when I feel like playing Smash, I'll just start streaming it, and I will beat Giga Bowser next time on number one Marvel Dick fan live streams. Tomorrow is the premiere of my Let's Play of Paper Mario. I voice act everything. Mix up the moves. Butt slams are strong. Peach has some of the best combo potential. Well, I agree, William. The, the, pro, the thing I'm worried about is Giga Bowser doesn't knock over, which means, like, most combos are based on, like, knocking your opponent over and stuff, but you're right. With all of her floating, I could throw in some of her like crown, her forward aerial crown attack. I think is a meteor effect, so that might be good. Uh, I'll just practice with Peach a little bit and get used to her aer aerials, because then I could mix up a nice little float all over the place and just keep aerialing him. All right, that's the last at at me. Thanks, chat, for all your help. Uh, I'll be I will be joining you tomorrow for the premiere of Paper Mario, and I'm gonna draw my thumbnail tonight so with that i am oh no this is why i shouldn't do that all right the number one marmaduke fan i love you guys catch you tomorrow peace <laughs>